This is ESPN NCAA Football Super Cup Sports Center. If you thought yesterday's round of last time's round of 16 matchups were huge, what about now? Georgia and Arizona State. Georgia having troubles again with another team, even though they're the one seed. Will they get to face Notre Dame in the quarterfinals? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. See how the Sooners did, and hopefully setting up a 1 2 matchup for the Cotton Bowl crown. In the Army, Army and Baylor fight it out in the first. It's a tight race to see who gets Ole Miss at the Fiesta Bowl. And Toronto Terror. See what happened between Miami and Wake Forest. That is a fantastic finish. It's here, it's clear, it's Super Cup Sports Center. Do, 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 do. Hi, everybody, Brad Nessler, along with my partners, Kirk Herb Street and Lee Corso. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Miami Hurricanes and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Demon Deacons. The Demon Deacons have nothing to lose in this game. Kirk, how do you see this thing playing out? Miami will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. I agree with you on this one. Miami will win big. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. Short kickoff. Wayne fields it at the 11. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. We've got a first and 10. Ball in 29. First and 10. Miami comes out with an eye formation. Fakes to the back. Across the middle. Tompkins tackles him at the 36. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. It's second down and about three yards. Ball on the 36-yard line. Looks to pass. He's in trouble. They brought him down for the sack at the 30. They line up at the 30. Third and nine. He's looking to pass. Looks. He passes it. The senior makes the catch. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the mark. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Henry is back to receive. Punts the ball away. Henry fields it at the 22. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. Well, guys, I talked to the offensive coordinator this morning, and he said that he was most worried about this player at left defensive end. What's your take on it? This guy plays as fast and as hard as any defensive end in the entire country. I think he's going to have a good game. Boy, I agree with you, Kirk, and here's why. 
This kid is as good as they come on the D-line, and this right tackle on the offensive line is not one of the world's best. So we should see some great things today. Llewellyn lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Skinner hands it off. He's tackled at the 32. Llewellyn gains about two yards on the run, so that'll make it third down. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. Wake Forest lines up with three receivers. Haskell will make the sack. The defensive end will get credit for the sack. Wake Forest comes out of the shotgun. Skinner, option, left side. A big gain on the option. I'm telling you right now, guys, the defense has to do a better job of keeping an eye on this young man. He shows he has the ability to hurt you. And this is an offense that can do this to you every now and then. We've got a first and ten. Single set back to you. Lateral back. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. Second and 11. Ball on the 40-yard line. Skinner lines up in the shotgun. Skinner drops back. He's going right. And he's down on the run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Demon Deacon come out in the shotgun. Let's it go. Fox, number 42 loses it. It's second and 11. This is the 10th play of this drive. Llewellyn is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He passes it. He snags it. He tackles him for a loss. Drop back a yard. One yard loss on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. The Deacon are lining up with three receivers. Here they come. Comes across the middle. It falls incomplete. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to dry that time. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. They line up in the shotgun. Here we go. Skinner lets it go, and it's picked off. That turnover will probably do it for this team. Boy, when it comes to last-minute drives, it seems like we see more and more turnovers because you're trying to hurry up, and some players just aren't on the same page with everybody else. They'll start the offense the will start the at the 25. First and 10. Miami comes out with an eye formation. Portis takes the give. Portis. Gains around three yards on the run. Second it's second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Magruder with the tackle at the 33-yard line. Five yards. Third and a couple. Ball on the 33-yard line. Third and short, and they hand it off. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. And they'll still be a little short of the first down line. Well, they get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. Yep, great play by the defense to step up and force the fourth down. Number 17 is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Henry takes it at the 16. Well, guys, as this offense takes the field, tell me what you think they need to do to get back in the game. A field goal is out of the question here. This offense needs to get the ball into the end zone. Yep, 
This is four down football, and there is not much time left in the game, so this will be most likely their last chance to score. The Demon Deacon set up in the gun. He looks going long, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Whoa. Excellent play on defense. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Yep, and out came the football. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Skinner back in the gun. Skinner back to throw. They'll make the sack. Wake Forest will take their first time out of the half. So this is it. Nine seconds left. Wake Forest is in trouble down 10-3. Riley Skinner. Skinner. Skinner's going to have to throw. He'll heave it to the right for Davis. Davis is on the sideline. He might go. He will go. He is gone. See you later. Touchdown, Wake. Holy St. Laurent. I don't believe it. No time on the clock. Wake Forest has a chance to win, tie the game, go to overtime. Unbelievable. I don't know why he saw that coming. Well, here's the kick. Swank. And through. Tie game. Oh, my God. Miami had it. Oh, you got to be joking me. Going to overtime. So here's the coin toss for overtime. If I win the coin toss, I like to put my defense out there first. That way my offense knows what it has to do when they get the football. And it also puts added pressure on the defense to make a stop if their team didn't get a touchdown. First it's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Wake Forest lines up with three receivers. Haskell tackles him for a loss on the play. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. The Deacon come out showing three wide, and they'll get him in the backfield. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. They line up at the 30. It's third and 15. The Demon Deacon come out in the shotgun. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Heck of an effort by this kid but he just couldn't get to the first down marker. Good play by the defense to stop him just short. The kicker will line up and try to get... Here's a perfect kick. Sam Swank from 42 out. The kick. A block! It's a block! Miami's blocked it. Flag on the play. What do we got? Holding on Wake, and where are they going to... Oh, they're going. Oh, they're going to force Wake to have one more play. I think this is smart because they're going to try to see if Wake Forest can do something about it. There's Skinner. Skinner. Skinner to the left side. He's got him. Henry touchdown. Wake. Oh my God! What a mistake on that gamble. Miami, I think, gambled that Wake was going to screw it up, but they did it. Henry scores a touchdown. And guess what? It's a seven-point win. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he adds the extra point. This is what performing under pressure is all about. You're right about that, Coach. Now it's time for somebody to step up. It's either touchdown or a loss at this point. First, and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. Miami in a four-wide set. Steps up in the pocket. Throws to the middle. Has it to the senior. And down he goes at the 11. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Yeah. 
single set back here. Portis takes it up the middle. They'll knock him down for a loss. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. It's second down. McCain, come out in the ace formation. Portis takes a handoff. Portis gets six yards on the play. So that'll make it third down. Eight yards from the end zone. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. They can't connect. Incomplete. So it's fourth down. And I think we're going to be seeing the kicker here, guys. Yep, this is an easy call. Bring out the kicker and send this thing to another overtime. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. Miami comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looks, throws it, and it falls incomplete. And this one finally comes to an end in overtime. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Brett, folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Wake Forest, 17, Miami, 10. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Missouri Tigers and the Oklahoma Sooners. And here come the Sooners. The Tigers don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Oklahoma looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. Yo, there's only one winning team today. Boomer Suit. Missouri to kick. He kicks it off. Clayton takes from the 10. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. They'll get the ball here at the 29. First and 10. They'll work from the shotgun. He tackles him for a loss. They line up at the 27. It's second down and 12 to go. Oklahoma comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Somehow gets the ball away, and he's taken down at the 27. Nothing going on that one. From their own 27-yard line, we've got third and 12. White is back in the gun. Look at the throw. Green pass, complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. The receiver did come down with the ball, but he'll be short of the first down. Yeah, I just can't figure out why you run that play on third down. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Mac four will be the return man. Glover punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. Knack four takes it at the 23. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Right. 
Well, guys, how do you think this rushing attack is going to do against this defense today? I know that this offense has a wonderful running back, but not so fast, my friends. I think this defense is going to win the battle today, led by a superstar linebacker. Yeah, this linebacker should have a big impact on this game. If he plays well, then the defense will hold up. But if he plays bad, then we may be in for a long day. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Three wide out here. He sheds it. Dowdell tackles him for a loss on the play. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and nine. Ball on the 29-yard line. Missouri comes out with five receivers. Looking long to the right. And got him! And he's brought down. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. Drop back to pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. The Tigers line up with trips left. He throws it. Complete to the true freshman. Thomas with the tackle at the 29-yard line. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. From the 29-yard line, it's second and four. Daniel lines up with the shotgun. Daniel hasn't missed yet. And it's a true freshman. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. Missouri comes out of the shotgun, throws it out there. That's incomplete. The ball is roughly separated from the receiver by the defender. And that's the way you play defense. Rough and tough with no apologies. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. Daniel drops back to pass. Dowdell comes away with a sack. Dowdell is slow to get up, and he might be hurt. They've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. The Tiger have five receivers on this play. He passes it. It's complete. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Fourth down, Coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. So it's fourth down, and the kicker's on to try this one from 39. Missouri could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Here we go, third and goal from the three-yard line. They set up in an eye down by the goal line. Watch the play action on this one. That might turn out to be a big, big turnover. Excellent job by this defense to get in there and force the fumble. That couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, because they needed two scores, and they needed them quickly. Let's see how they respond with the football now. The Tigers line up with trips left. He delivers. They can't connect. Incomplete. That sailed over the receiver's head. Yeah, this receiver is fast, but not that fast. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own seven. Going with the shotgun here. Daniel steps back to pass. Daniel throws it out there. And he shoved out of bounds at the 14-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. It's third down. The Tiger line up with five receivers. Steps up, lets it fly. Incomplete pass. Right. 
Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. The Tiger set up in the gun. They'll throw for it. Caught. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. Pretty good game. More importantly, though, it's good for the first down. That's heartbreaking for a defense. They stopped him on the first three plays, but they just couldn't contain the pass on fourth down. So we've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 20. Missouri comes to the line with three wide. Daniel lets it go. Someone got a hand on it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Daniel with three wide receivers. Looks to pass. And this one falls incomplete. He put just a little too much power behind that throw to his receiver. Oh, boy, guys. I think he'd like that pass back. Yeah, Kirk, he won't miss that receiver too often. They line up at the 20. It's third down and 10. They come out in an empty backfield. Steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. It's tipped. The defender had it and then dropped it. So that'll bring up a fourth down. The coach spoke really highly of this kid before the game. Now I can see why. If this guy keeps making plays like that, then there will be a lot more people than his coach talking about him in the future. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Daniel back to throw. Finds his receiver at the point. He's all the way down to the 47. Hey, sweetheart. Can you believe that? That's a big letdown by the defense. This is when the leaders on the field need to step up and calm down the players so they can regroup and try to stop this offense on the next set of downs. It's the ninth play of the drive. Missouri lines up for the shotgun set. He throws left. This one is incomplete. Rhodes was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. From their own 47-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. The Tiger set up in the gun. Stepping up. He lets it fly. Gaddis picks it off. That's his second interception of the game. Brad Nessler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. There's still a lot of warm air out there for tonight's battle between the Army Black Knights and the Baylor Bears. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Bears. The Bears are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? Baylor is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. Hey, everybody's picking him, so I will too. I'm picking Baylor, Kirk. Second it's second down. He drives back. He lets it go. Batted ball. It's a tip drill. Seven yards there. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today.
Look at the throw. He's drilled as he throws. He wasn't letting the receiver get to that one. That's a big play on third down to get a hand in there and break up the pass. I think the quarterback would like to have that one back. Try to go for it. Hand drops back. And he's hit as he throws. And it falls incomplete. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. They'll go to work at the 29. Griffin is back in the gun. Gives it to the back. Harris with a takedown at the 19-yard line. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. Baylor lines up for the shotgun set. They hand it off again. Galloway tackles him at the 17. The Bears are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's third and eight. Baylor sets up with four receivers. Griffin hands it off. He's tackled at the 13-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. This will be a 30-yard field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. Nestler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Curbstreet. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Arizona State Sun Devils and the Georgia Bulldogs. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs seem to have an advantage here. Would you agree with that, Kirk Curbstreet? Georgia will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. These guys are going to bring their A game today. I've got to go with Georgia. Georgia to kick. Amos and Graham back ready to return. He kicks it off. Graham takes it from the six. So now we'll get to see the off.
First down, 10 yards to go. The Devil come out in the ace formation. Plummer with a nice play fake across the middle. Incomplete. He just led his receiver a little bit too far. They line up at the 24. Second down and 10 to go. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. They hand it off. And he's tackled at the 25. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 25. The Sun Devil set up in the gun. He's in trouble. They'll sack him at the 22. There's not too much the quarterback can do there. And the protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Ward is back deep to return the punt. He punts it. Ward fields it at the 37. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. Well, guys, today we've got a very special player lining up at wide receiver. Brad, I'm telling you, this kid is very talented. He's fast, he runs good routes, and he can catch the ball with the best of them. Yep, I'll tell you what. There's no one on the defensive side of the ball that is good enough to cover him. So the quarterback will be looking for him all day long. Second and seven. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Bulldog go with the eye formation. Hands it off. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. From their own 43-yard line, it's third and seven. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Green pass. Brought down at the 49-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important ball, ball on their own 20. The Bulldogs line up in an eye formation. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. Gain of less than a yard on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 21. Georgia comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he's taken down at the 26. Number 26 picks up five with the carry. It's third and four. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Bulldog go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. Looking across the middle. But tackle made at the 40. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get out between the zone coverage. First and 10. Georgia sets up in the eye. They go with a run. He's taken down at the 44. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. Oh, yeah. It looks like he hurt his arm on that play. Second down. The Bulldogs line up in a goal line for me. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of one for the fullback. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. He rolls left over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 47. That should do it right there. That new set of downs should be enough to run out the clock. Now the defense's only hope is to somehow force a fumble and recover it. Otherwise, this one is pretty much over. It's first and 10, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Number 26 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Colt gets in the backfield for a loss. Five-yard loss 
from their own 48-yard line. Second down. They line up in the jumbo set. He's tackled at the 42. What sprung this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 42. High formation here. Looks to pass. He looks. Let's it fly. Finds his receiver. Parker tackles him at the 18-yard line. The Sun Devils take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. The kick is up, and it's good. Georgia ready to kick this one off. Amos and Graham set to return. Decent kick. Graham takes it at the four. Low to get up, and he might be hurt. They'll start at the 26. Arizona State comes out in the shotgun, steps up, he fires right side, and he brings it down. Good yardage that time on the pass. The thing that makes this play work is the quarterback. He throws this thing right in there. What an arm this quarterback's got. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. They've got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary.